this video will cover the martyrdom of Saint Agatha. She is the patron saint of rape victims, breast cancer patients, wet nurses and bell founders. But more of that later. Saint Agatha was born in Sicilia around the year 231, either in Palermo or Catania as her possible birthplace. Already from a young age, the notably beautiful Agatha dedicated her life to God. She became a consecrated virgin, a state in life where young women choose to remain celibate and give themselves wholly to Jesus and the Church in a life of prayer and service. However, that did not stop men from desiring her and making unwanted advances towards her. One of the men who desired Agatha was Quintianus. Because he was of a high diplomatic ranking, he figured he could turn her away from her vow and force her to marry. But his persistent proposals were constantly spurned by Agatha. At this time, Christians were being persecuted by the Roman Emperor Gaius Messius Quintus Traianus Decius, or as his friends call him, Emperor Decius. So Quintianus, knowing Agatha was a Christian, saw his chance and had her arrested and brought before the judge. He was the judge. He expected her to give in to his demands when she was faced with torture and possible death. But she simply reaffirmed her belief in God by praying, Jesus Christ, possess all that I am, I am your sheep. Make me worthy to overcome the devil. With tears falling from her eyes, she prayed for courage. To force her to change her mind, Quintianus had her imprisoned in a brothel. Agatha never lost her confidence in God, even though she suffered a month of assaults and efforts to get her to abandon her vow to God. Except this guy. This guy minded his own business. Quintianus heard of her calm strength and ordered that she be brought before him once again. During her interrogation, she told him that to be a servant of Jesus Christ was her true freedom. Enraged, Quintianus sent her off to prison instead of back to the brothel, a move intended to make her even more afraid, but it was probably a great relief to her. Agatha continued to proclaim Jesus as her Savior, Lord, life and hope. And so Quintianus ordered her to be tortured. He had her stretched on a rag to be torn with iron hooks burned with torches and whipped. Noticing Agatha was enduring all the torture with a sense of cheer, he commanded she be subjected to a worse form of torture, and so the evil man ordered that her breasts be cut off. He then sent her back to prison without giving her food or medical attention. But the Lord gave her all the care she needed. He sent a vision of the Apostle Saint Peter to Agatha, who comforted her and healed her wounds through his prayers. Four days passed when Quintianus directed his attention back to Agatha. He ignored the miraculous cures of her wounds and had her stripped naked and rolled over hot coals. When she was near death, an earthquake struck. In the destruction that followed, a friend of the magistrate was crushed. And the magistrate fled. When she was returned to prison, Agatha prayed, Lord, my creator, 
You have ever protected me from the cradle. You have taken me from the love of the world and given me patience to suffer. Receive now my soul. Or in plain English. Kill me, please. The Lord gave her her wish as she died in her prison cell, finally free of her corporeal torture. The Extra Info Segment Agatha is considered to be a powerful intercessor when people suffer from fires. She is claimed as the patroness of Palermo. This is because the year after her death, the stilling of an eruption of Mount Etna was attributed to her intercession. As a result, apparently people continued to ask her prayers for protection against fire. In Switzerland, she is even considered to be the patron saint of fire services. In 1551, her intercession through a reported apparition to a Benedictine nun is said to have saved Malta from Turkish invasion. The island of Malta therefore also claims Agatha as its patron saint. And finally, she became the patron saint of the Republic of San Marino after Pope Clement XII restored the independence of the state in 1740 on her feast day, which is the 5th of February. <laughs> 